Hey hey guys, out of 514 here with another performance video. In this video I'll be testing and comparing the turn time, turn radius and maneuvering energy retention of the three main supersonic jets that are currently in the game, which are the Mitsubishi T2K, the MiG-19 PT and the F-100D. Let's start by explaining the methodology for these tests. It's very straightforward. The testing gives the average speed and the time it takes to complete a 360 degree turn. With the speed and the turn time, you then multiply them to get the perimeter of the circle. Finally, the radius of the turn circle is calculated from the perimeter by dividing it by 2 pi. Without further ado, let's parachute right into it. Every aircraft will turn at 500 meters of altitude with a constant 20 minute fuel load until they reach the sustained turn regime, which means that there is no change in altitude or speed. Since turning like this at a constant altitude is difficult, I took the best turn for each aircraft. The heading indicator in the middle of the screen makes it easy to keep track of the turn and know when it starts and when it ends. The graph on the bottom left shows the turn radius for each aircraft. The T2 has a substantially larger turn radius than the other two, and the MiG-19 is the tightest turning. The graph on the bottom right shows the turn time for each aircraft. The MiG-19 has the best turn time, while the T2 and the F-100 have essentially the same turn time. The MiG-19 has both the tightest turn radius and the best turn time. These results are expected given the wing loading and thrust weight differences between these aircraft. The next test is the same as the previous one, except takeoff flaps are used. One would expect that flaps would decrease the turn radius since they are supposed to increase the lift of the aircraft. However, the graph on the bottom left shows that only the T2's turn radius decreases with flaps. The F-100's radius increases very slightly, and the MiG-19's radius increases enough to match the F-100's radius. The result puzzled me and made me verify my calculations. Currently, my best hypothesis to explain this result is that the angle of attack is lower with flaps compared to without flaps, so the engine thrust has a smaller vertical com component which reduces the aircraft's ability to turn. In any case, this test shows that unless you're in a T2, you shouldn't use flaps to decrease your turn radius. The graph on the bottom right shows that the turn time has improved for all three aircraft with the use of flaps. Flaps actually increase the sustained turn speed for the MiG-19 and the F-100 enough to more than compensate the increase in their turn radius. The last test is the high speed turn test where we will measure the maneuvering energy retention at the same time. This test is the most useful one for usual match situations. Each aircraft will accelerate to around 950 km per hour at 500 meters of altitude and commit to a turn. Since there's a large difference in the time it takes the aircraft to get into the turn, the testing starts at 25 degrees past the zero degree point and ends at 70 degrees past the zero degree point to complete a 45 degree turn or one eighth of a circle. A longer turn wasn't possible since the MiG-19 rips at 80 degrees and the pilot passes out shortly afterwards anyway. The graph on the bottom left shows that the MiG-19, which had the advantage at low speed, now has the biggest turn radius at high speed, while the T2 and the F-100 kept their radius approximately constant. Not only does the MiG-19 rip at high speed, but it is also more affected by compression. The graph on the bottom right shows the evolution of the mechanical energy of the aircraft as it turns. The MiG-19, as a result of its compression and other factors, conserves the most energy, while the T2 loses the most energy while turning. The T2 lost 15% of its total energy in a 2 second maneuver. It's a good thing it accelerates really well to recover it quickly. These results are expected considering the different aircraft characteristics and the MiG-19 compression. The link to the spreadsheet for more detailed information is in the description. Thanks for watching!